How you doing, Trench? I'm back. If you're a sincere seeker of truth, check that. And and he doesn't need to indulge in this. I would advise Dr. Yasser Qadi to stop indulging in this because this is not his field. He's not an authority uh, to 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 say. I mean, when he wrote his book, Introduction to the Quranic Sciences, he was a, a graduate student from Medina University. Okay, he was in his early twenties. He was a student. Okay, I don't know what his exact qualification in the Quran is. What he needs to do, he he needs to delegate the task to the Ahlul Quran to the Quran. To the masters of the Quran, people who have done PhDs in the Qur'at and they have mastered the transmission of the Quran, he needs to delegate to them. He just threw Qadi under the bus, threw him under the bus. And he didn't got, uh, get upset with a job, he got upset with Qadi. Why did Qadi mention these things? Why did Qadi just not simply hold out the Birmingham folios? If you ask me this question today, what would you write on a blank notebook if we were if we were uh, if we were asked to write the quran on that blank yeah. uh, notebook i would write i would write, I would write exactly this this was what and, came and, and why 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 i would write that because this is exactly what's here mm -hmm. from page 1 to the page last if you go to islamicawareness.org there is a list of qurans from the first century we have the entirety of the quran the entirety of the quran from the first century no, you don't. You don't have the original Quran anymore. All the manuscripts that you see here, which are the main manuscripts to go to for the Quran, including the top copy, the Samarkand, the Husseini, the Sana'a, or the Petropolitanus or the Ma'al, all of them are not complete. They are not from the 7th century and they are certainly not Uthmanic. So they do not agree with today's Hafs Quran that was written in 1924 in Cairo, Egypt. So you are lying Mr. Adnan Rashid. Let us see what the people who actually did research on those manuscripts have to say about it. So let us see what the actually Muslim experts who studied these manuscripts have to say about it. Mr. Professor Dr. Ekmeladin Isanoglu, a Turkish Sunni scholar who had access to these manuscripts, he says the following and I quote, we have none of the Uthmanic manuscripts, nor do we have any copies from those Mus'hafs. These Mus'hafs date from the later Umayyad period. In other words, the major manuscripts for the Quran that Muslims have today in their possession, they are not Uthmanic, they do not date from the 7th century, and they are not complete. Uh oh. Remember, Uthman lived before the Umayyad period. Uthman is one of the four rightly guided caliphs. So he is from the 7th century and the Umayyad period started after that in the 8th century. So no, all the manuscripts, all the major manuscripts to be specific, do not come from the 7th century and are certainly not Uthmanic. So Mr. Adnan Rashid, you have no idea what you're talking about. You have no clue. You are nothing but a liar and deceiver. You are only deceiving yourself and your Muslim audience. Do you have any shame, honor or any dignity, Mr. Adnan Rashid? The viewers can be the judge of that. Here is another scholar, another Sunni Turkish scholar by the name of Dr. Tayyar Altikulic, who did scholarly work and had access to these manuscripts that you saw earlier. And he says the following, no serious scholarly work has been done on these manuscripts. These manuscripts or the Mus'hafs date from the early mid 8th century. Remember, Uthman lived in the 7th century. And Muslims claim that the Quran of Uthman comes from the 7th century. So where are the 7th century Uthmanic Mus'hafs or manuscripts? So again, 
he says and he concludes all these manuscripts are not Uthmanic nor copies sent by Uthman by him so Muslims stop saying that your Quran comes from Uthman your Quran is not from the 7th century and it's not Uthmanic and all the manuscripts are not complete so Mr. Adnan Rashid you are nothing but a liar and a deceiver stop deceiving your Muslim audience do you have any shame honor or dignity again the viewers can be the judge of that the entire Quran we have it from the first century okay in different libraries okay we even have complete copies the Husseini mosque manuscript which is from the first century in Cairo okay Husseini mosque manuscript is from the first century of Islam it's in Cairo it is 99 percent 99 percent complete the complete text of the Quran only first two or three pages are missing surah surah al fatiha and maybe one uh, the uh, the very early verses of uh, surah bakara are missing there are so many mistakes he made in just those few minutes he mentioned that he mentioned that the birmingham folios prove he said why did he just show this because there's no kid out see kid out are only the dots uh, added and the valorization that's done in the eighth and ninth century. So the kid is not the most damaging material. This is not even that damaging. When Gandhi said this is the most difficult question they've had, no, it's not Gandhi. Wait till you see what we're going to throw at you. This is all from the eighth, ninth, and tenth century, way over here. I don't care about that. I want to know what's happened in the seventh century. I want to know what's happened in the very beginning. I want to know what happened at Uth the time of Uthman in 652. Okay. I want to know where that Uthmanic recension is that you're always talking about. Where's the original Quran? And that's what Adna tried to say. Adna tried to bring that in. Do you notice? What is the Quran that he claimed was the Uthmanic Quran? The Husseini Quran in Cairo. Right. What an idiot. Wow. Claiming that, and did you notice what he claimed? He said it, it was from the original, but then he then quickly qualified himself. No, it's from the first century AH. That means up to 719. Yeah. That this is before 719. Who in the world would ever accept that? 719? Regarding the Husseini manuscript that is found in Cairo, according to the same Dr. Tayyar Altikulic, he says, and I quote, This manuscript is not Uthmanic, it is dated from the early mid 8th century. Another leading scholar, a French scholar who had access to these manuscripts, he said, and I quote, it's from the 9th century. This person's name is Francois de Roche. So, it's not Uthmanic. Do you say any manuscript? It's not Uthmanic. It is probably from the mid 8th century or even much later, the 9th century. Certainly not 7th century Uthmanic manuscript. And on top of that, it's not complete. And it does not agree with today's Hafs Quran that is written in 1924 in Cairo, Egypt. So Muslim, <laughs> Mr. Adnan Rashid, you have no idea what you're saying. You have no clue. You are nothing but a liar and a deceiver. You are again deceiving your Muslim audience. Do you have any shame, any honor or any dignity? Our viewers can be the judge of that. Nobody considers this to be even an 8th century Quran. It may be a late 8th century, but many people put this to the 9th century. What's more, it does not belong to the 63, the Islamic Awareness website, that he claimed where it's been housed. He said it's in the Islamic Awareness website. Go up on the Islamic Awareness website and see if it's part of the 63 fragments that they have listed there. Not at all. When they radio carbon date the parchment, are they... The, it's the parchment itself that they're dating, or is it the ink on the paper, or is it both? How does it's that work? The, it's, the, it's the actual skin, it's the actual material. Mm -hmm. They carbon date uh, the, the material. And basically, the dating tells you when the animal was killed, because it is vellum. It comes from goats. Uh, it is basically goat skin. And mm -hmm. it is highly likely that it was penned, it was written, According to the study of paleography, even the text, it is very, very ancient. It is early Hijazi script. It mm -hmm. is very, very early Arabic writing. So both uh, basically facts correlate. Okay. The dating 
of the parchment and the text. Making mistake after mistake after mistake and saying that radio radiocarbon dating not only dates the parchment, it also dates the ink. Nobody in their right mind would make that kind of statement. Obviously, he doesn't know what he's talking about. The Birmingham Folios is just two pages front and back. It's parts of in zero twenty. That's it. Yeah. It's not a whole manuscript. It's just few. What's more, nothing on it is about Islam. All of it is about Moses. It's about the seven sleepers of Ephesus. And if you look at these these stories, these stories have nothing to do with Islam. These are pre-Islamic stories. Right. What's more, the dates are 568 to 645. When was the Quran finally canonized under Uthman? In 652. So even if you go with the latest date, the last date, it's seven years before the Quran was even finally canonized, finally written down. Yeah. So how could it be the original Quran? Secondly, on top of that, Carbon dating is so inexact, the fact that they have to put from 568 to 645, that's almost 100 years wingspan, proves that there is, this is a very inexact sign. Thirdly, what you notice, and this is what you brought up, when you talk about carbon, radiocarbon dating, you can, only be, you can only look at when the animal died. So the parchment may have been created at that time, let's say 645, they're going to go with the latest date, obviously. Let's just say it was created 645. When was it written on? That could be decades later. That could be many years later. What's interesting is you cannot date the ink because the ink is amalgamation of many different pigments that come from many parts of the world, that okay. come from many be able to that only, Yeah, only date one. Nobody, nobody ever dates the ink. You can only date the parchment. Now, so I'm not dating enormous, enormous amount of mistakes, but it's what, it's what he has done as a favor, and this is what I want to talk about. In this whole thing, everything has been giddy, at giddy, 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 which is way back in the 8th and 9th century. I don't want to talk about the giddy. I would rather they talk about the manuscripts. So who has done us a favor by now pushing us into the manuscripts but Adnan Rashid? Which means now, this week, we're going on the offensive. Remember, K, I said always, 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 the best defense is a good offense. Always put them on the defense. Notice nobody's talking about Bible manuscripts. No one's talking about the historicity of Jesus. None of this. It's all against Islam, and it's all against the Quran. The one thing the Muslims don't want us to talk about is this. I think we have really do have Islam in a corner. I've never seen it this easy for me. I've never seen it this exciting. I've never seen this many admissions. And I've never seen Muslims starting to censor themselves. Since when do you censor in an interview of 25 minutes midway through the week? Why do you do that? Unless, of course, you don't have answers. I would suggest that this may be getting, this may be the beginning of the crack of Islam starting to open. And I don't think we're just going to have a few. I think we're going to have thousands, maybe even millions who will finally live Islam over this one question. Let's see. You will never succeed because the pens have been lifted, papers are dry. We have the physical copies from the first century, from the life of the Prophet ﷺ. They are exactly the same as this, what we read in our mm -hmm. homes. Husseini Mosque manuscript is from the first century of Islam. It's in Cairo. It is 99% 99% complete. What is the Quran that he claimed was the Uthmanic Quran? The Husseini Quran in Cairo. Right. What an idiot. Anyways, I'm done. I'll be back. Surprise.